We're given cosecant x equals four for some angle between 90 and 180 degrees, which means it terminates in the second quadrant. We want to find sine of x divided by two, cosine x divided by two, and tangent x divided by two. Well, if we know cosecant x equals four, or if we want four over one, since cosecant is a reciprocal of sine, this would give us the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side of our reference triangle. So let's sketch angle x in standard position, which we know terminates in the second quadrant. So it might look something like this. So this would be x degrees. And now if we sketch the reference triangle for this angle, it would be this triangle here. So this would be our reference angle, and the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side would be four to one. So we can label the hypotenuse four, the opposite side one, and now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this other leg, which would be the square root of four squared minus one squared, or the square root of 15. So we label this as square root of 15, but because we're in the second quadrant, where x is negative, this would be negative as well. And now we'll use one of our half angle identities to determine the value of sine x over two. One thing to notice though is if we take an angle between 90 and 180 degrees and divide it by two, notice how x over two would be greater than 45 degrees and less than 90 degrees, which means the angle x divided by two would be in the first quadrant where we know all of these trig function values would be positive. So we don't have to worry about the plus or minus sign here. We know all of our trig function values here will be positive. Now using the half angle identity for sine a divided by two, or in our case sine x divided by two, we would have, we know it's going to be positive. We'd have one minus cosine, in our case x, divided by two. And now we can find the value of cosine x using our reference triangle. So we'd have the square root of one minus cosine x is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative square root of 15 divided by four. And all this is divided by two. And now we can go to the calculator to get an approximation for sine x divided by two. We would have the square root, and then we have a numerator and denominator, so we'll put the numerator in parentheses. So open parenthesis, one. Notice how this would become plus, because we have minus a negative. So we have plus square root 15, right arrow, divided by four, close parenthesis, and then we'll divide this by two. We'll have one more parenthesis to end the larger square root and enter. So the sine function value is approximately 0 0.9920. And now we can easily find the cosine function value, or cosine of x divided by two. This would be equal to the square root of one plus cosine x divided by two. So we just have a difference in the sign here. We'd have the square root of one plus negative square root 15 divided by four all over two. And now we'll go back to the calculator. Now because we only have a sign change here, let's go ahead and press second enter, which brings up the previous entry and now we can just change this plus sign here to minus. One minus this fraction is equivalent to one plus the negative fraction. So now we'll press enter, and the cosine function value of x over two will be approximately 0 0.1260. And now to find the tangent function value, we could use one of these identities here, but since tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta, let's go ahead and just use the fact that tangent 
of x divided by two is equal to sine of x divided by two divided by cosine of x divided by two. And we can find this quickly on the calculator. We'd have point nine nine two zero divided by point one two six zero. So the approximate tangent function value of x over two would be seven point eight seven three zero. I hope you found this helpful.